I'm gonna tell you the main reasons that people fail on YouTube so that you don't, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so you're putting all of this work into your YouTube channel. You're putting in tons of time, you're putting in tons of effort, and of course, you want it to work out, right? Well, the truth is it doesn't work out for everybody. Some people will put in tons of effort and they don't follow the right steps. They don't do the right things. And because of that, well, they don't make it. And I know you don't wanna be that person, right? Well, the things that I'm getting ready to share with you are things that you might be overlooking, things that you might not be aware of yet in your journey. Because, you know, we all come into this with different points of view, with different experiences in life. And because of that, what we see and what we experience and what we create and our interpretation of what we create, well, it's different. So with that said, the first thing that causes a lot of people to fail is their videos suck and they're not honest with themselves about it. Hold on, don't attack me yet. The reason I'm telling you this is because a lot of people will make content and they'll put up content that they by themselves think is great because they are making it themselves. We're content creators, we're creators. Of course, we're creating stuff that we like, right? But just because we like it doesn't mean that other people are gonna like it. If you really wanna get results here on YouTube, you have to find a nice happy medium to where you're putting out content that you like to make in addition to putting out content that you know other people are responding well to. So here's what you wanna do. You wanna go into your audience retention reports. You wanna go into your YouTube analytics, go into your audience retention reports and actually look minute by minute, second by second, how people are responding to your content and make adjustments. When you see drop-offs in your audience retention reports, that means that people are leaving. That means people are not digging what it is that you're doing in that particular part of the video. Even though you might think it's cool, even though you might be emotionally attached to it, if people are not responding to it, then ultimately you're doing yourself a disservice by continuing to do that type of thing, whatever it is that makes people leave in your videos. The same thing applies to how it looks and how it sounds. I mean, let's be honest, people would rather watch something that looks like this instead of something that looks like this. It's what we're conditioned to. And if your audio sounds bad, you're also increasing the chances that people are going to leave when they start watching your video. So what you want to do is you want to be objective. Basically, when you are looking at your content, try to look at it like somebody that's never seen it before and take you out of it, right? And look into your analytics. Your analytics are going to tell you almost everything it is that you need to know about your content. And then it's up to you to actually figure out what that data means. The next thing on this list, number two, is that oftentimes people want to be rock stars before they've even learned to play an instrument. Here's what I mean. If you're putting out one video every now and then and it doesn't sound that great, it doesn't look that great, you're not putting much thought into it and you're not creating an experience for the people that are watching your content, well, you haven't learned to play the instrument yet. You haven't learned the art of creating YouTube videos yet. So because of that, you can't in return expect to have awesome results when you haven't even learned how to actually use the platform, you haven't learned the features that the platform offers, and you haven't learned how to make content in a way that people respond to it. I mean, think about that for a second. If you are inside of YouTube and you don't know the features, right? You don't know the features that are available to you. You haven't spent the time to educate yourself on what's going on in the back end of YouTube. You're just making videos and putting stuff up. Outside of a video that you might get lucky on, how can you expect that to work, especially long-term? So to overcome that one, what you want to think of is you just actually want to understand that there's a learning curve, right? And embrace that learning curve. Embrace the process of learning how to do YouTube, learning how to make videos, learning how to interact with your community. Embrace that process because because if you don't go through the process and you don't learn what it takes, all of the nuances of what it takes to be a content creator, then you can't expect something in return just for throwing videos up on the internet. Unfortunately for all of us, it just doesn't work that way. The next thing that causes people to fail, number three, is that they know all of the stuff, right? They know all of the stuff that I talk about. They know all the stuff that the other creators like me talk about. They've been through the YouTube Creator Academy 10 times. They know the information, but for whatever reason, they just don't wanna apply the information to their channel so that they can actually get real results from the stuff it is that they're learning. To fix this one, all you have to do is apply the information. So if you're one of those people that know all of this stuff, but you're not applying it, all you have to do is apply the information. That's it, apply the information and then start using all of the stuff that you know to actually turn it into something that works for you, to turn it into an asset. Because, and I'm not even exaggerating when I say this, but your YouTube channel could become a very, very valuable asset for you. All you have to do is apply all of that 
that stuff that you spend all of that time watching videos about and all of that time reading about. Just apply it. Next up on this list, and I think we are at number four now, the next up on this list is people don't use the tools that are available to them. If you're building a house, you need hammers, you need wrenches, you need screws, you need whatever else it is that you need to build a house or that house is not gonna get built. Well, at least maybe not properly. On YouTube, sure, you can luck out, some people do, but most people do not. Therefore, using the tools that are available to you, like your YouTube analytics, which is absolutely free, TubeBuddy, which they have a free version, or they have paid versions you can use, Morning Fame, you know, all of these tools, I'll put links to stuff down in the description, but all of these tools are things that can help you with your channel. They're tools to help you build your YouTube house. And if you're not using the tools, like your analytics as an example, if you're not using the tools to figure out how to get your content in front of people and to figure out how people are actually responding to your content. Those are two very important pieces of the, of the puzzle. And if you're not using those tools, then what's gonna happen is that it's gonna be a rough journey for you. Next on the list, number five, is people look at YouTube as, hey, I'm just a content creator. I'm just somebody that uploads videos to the internet. But the fact is, you're a videographer, you're a strategist, you're a PR person, you are an editor, you're a designer, you're a project manager, you're a salesperson, and so on. If you really wanna turn your YouTube channel into something long-term, some, like an actual asset, Set, then you need to look at yourself as somebody that is wearing all of these different hats because if you like it or not, if you know it or not, you are. Look, you can do this. People from all different walks of life, people of all different shapes and sizes and colors and nationalities and languages, people all over the globe are turning YouTube or their channels or their social media presence in general into a real asset, into something that they can do full time, into something that they can at the very least do as just something that they enjoy doing to where they can create a community and they can have an audience. If all of these people can do it, so can you. There's just certain aspects of doing it that you may be overlooking or that you just might not be far enough in the process yet because another thing that people do and another reason people fail is because they give up, because they haven't put in enough time, they haven't made enough videos, they haven't done enough in order for the algorithm to respond in order to generate an audience. Here's the thing, it took me a long time to get my channel actually rocking. But when people see it, all they see is, wow, Nick, I've been watching you since 30,000 subscribers. Now you have, you know, X amount. Wow, Nick. I've been watching you since 10,000. Now you have X amount. But what they didn't see or what they weren't around for, and some of you were, but what they weren't around for, what you might not have been around for, is that first like two years where nothing was really going on. But it's part of the process. We all go through it. If I would have quit, if I knew what I have now was not going to come, but if I would have just kept going, then I would have what I have now. The regrets that I would have would be, I wouldn't even be able to put it into words. But anyway, I just went off on a little rant there. But what I'm getting at is this is something that you can do. If you apply the stuff that I mentioned before, if you apply the tips that I share, if you put effort and time into trying to figure out how all this stuff works, it is something that you can actually turn into something, but it's a process just like anything else. And you have to go through different processes. And that process for you might be a learning curve. Maybe you don't know how to design stuff. So you got to figure out, you know, you got to watch all these tutorials and spend all this time in Photoshop to learn how to create effective thumbnails so that you can generate more clicks. Maybe that's your thing. Maybe you need to spend more time in the editing room, figuring out how to edit your videos in a way that people respond to them right? Like maybe the learning curve is a major part of your process, but you got to go through it. If you want to get your end result here, if this is the goal, the thing that you're after, then you have to go through that process, whatever that process might be for you. So embrace it, enjoy the process, and you are going to massively increase your chances of winning. And if you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.